Submitting your assignment on Turnitin is very easy. Firstly, you need to log into Moodle. And once you're in Moodle, you need to discover where your teacher expects you to submit your essay. So, find the course um, which the essay is to be submitted for. And once you're in the course, find the Turnitin submission area. You can normally see this because it has a hand in icon which looks like this. It's a um, hand with an assignment. An easy way to find um, any assignment is to look on the activities block on the left hand side um, here and if I click on assignments it will bring me to the assignment that we need to submit. So going into the submission area there's only one thing you can do from here and that's click the big submission button that says submit. This takes you through to another page and you just click the big blue submit button in the middle of the page. Um, when you come through to this page here um, your name will be um, written in to the first name and last name section. Now you need to make sure you give your um, your assignment a title. I'm going to call this test essay. Now to upload your file you can only, uh, bear in mind, you can only upload the following types of file uh, Microsoft Word files or WordPerfect files, PostScript, PDF, HTML, RTF, OpenOffice or plain text. You can't submit PowerPoint or Microsoft Publisher files in here or anything that's not on the list that I've just uh, read out and your file needs to be smaller than 20 megs now to upload your file just click on browse and locate your file on your computer my one's on a desktop and is called turn it in demo essay so I'm just going to click on that and press open this puts the location of my file into this little box here and I just click upload step two of the process just shows us the essay that we've submitted but only the wording so it takes all the uh, the images out and we can see all the words um, that were included in our essay. Turnitin will check the wording um, against words that it's seen before um, to look for coincidence. If all the wording looks right to you then go on to stage 3 by clicking submit. This shouldn't take too long, apparently it takes 2 minutes or less. On the next page, well this is done, it says um, that my submission was successful. That's all there is to it, so it's quite easy. On the next page, um, you'll see a paper ID. It's usually a good idea to note this paper ID down, so that if, um, you're, um, if you need to chase it up at any point, um, it'll be easy for us to find. And that's all there is to it. If um, you want to come back and see what's happened to your uh, to your submission, just go back into where you submitted it in the first place. So that's here. Now this bit's a little counterintuitive. Just click submit again. And now we can see that um, that I have submitted a uh, an assignment because the button that used to be blue and say submit now says resubmit. If I want to resubmit, just click that button and go through the, uh, the procedure again.